Former Philadelphia police officer Ed Saul Mendoza faced the final chapter in the tragic death of 12-year-old Thomas T.J. Sedario on March 1, 2022. The incident began when Mendoza, along with three other plainclothes officers in an unmarked police car, encountered Sedario and an unnamed 17-year-old. The situation escalated quickly when Sedario allegedly fired a shot at the vehicle, injuring one of the officers inside. In the ensuing chaos, Mendoza pursued Sedario and fired three shots, two of which were discharged after the boy had discarded his gun. Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner emphasized the inconsistencies between Mendoza's account and the surveillance footage that captured the incident. Krasner pointed out that Mendoza claimed Sedario had pointed a gun at him, yet the footage showed discrepancies, including Mendoza firing the fatal shot while standing in the street, not on the sidewalk. Prosecutors also highlighted that Sedario was unarmed and on the ground when he was shot in the back. During the trial, it was revealed that Mendoza fired three shots at the boy, with the final two shots coming after Sedario had discarded his weapon. This evidence played a crucial role in shaping the jury's perception of Mendoza's culpability. Prosecutor Clark Beljean argued for a harsher sentence, seeking a minimum of 20 years and a maximum of 40 years, citing Mendoza's actions following the shooting as particularly troubling. Mendoza had searched online for plane tickets to the Dominican Republic, his place of origin, and explored countries with no extradition treaties with the United States. The behavior suggested a flight risk and added weight to the prosecution's case for a longer sentence. Initially charged with first-degree murder and voluntary manslaughter, Mendoza's plea deal saw him plead guilty to third-degree murder and possession of an instrument of crime. As the court proceedings drew to a close, the judge handed down a sentence of 8 to 20 years in prison. The Philadelphia District Attorney's Office has yet to comment further on the case.